Well, who says that those who pursue their passion in the field of networks are only nerds and do not have a life? Well, joining me, we have with us Mr. Joe, who is a true hard rock fan. All right, Mr. Joe, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? I'm good from hard rock to hardcore networks. Tell us your journey. Uh, well, it's been a long journey. Um, talking about which uh, started my engineering, realized that I was a geek at heart. I uh, had to do something about, uh, you know, feeding my passion. So what I did was uh, I was in this pursuing of uh, per, uh, networkers. Uh, you know, I was I wanted to get into networking. So what I did is I did my uh, MSc in networking in, in the UK. Uh, and that's when I realized that I have to be getting into something very specific. So what I did is I started searching for a place uh, which had all the equipment and which had a wonderful trainer and uh, who would actually cooperate in bringing me the you know, bringing me the best you know bring, bringing out the best in me so what i was thinking is uh, i called a few friends of mine who were working in the industry networking industry stuff like that so they 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 said that there's something called networkers home in bangalore and they said it's a very exclusive place where you can you know get all the equipment and it's it's very ex exclusive that's what the point i was very interested in why was it exclusive? So what I did is I brought a few friends of mine. Uh, I came down from the UK and then uh, I met up with uh, the management. And since my friend was working in the voice industry, he actually saw the equipment. So he was pretty, he was pretty impressed himself. So uh, I was thinking, yeah, okay. Uh, so do we have the you know the right equipment here and things like that? And he said, yes, we can go ahead. And I was supposed to be doing a very short course, which is a starting level such as CCNA, our basic stuff, and NP and all that. But I landed up actually taking CCIE voice, uh, which what impressed me is basically the equipment which was here is is the best I think in in the whole of uh, the whole of the country, and the price they offered me was 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 fabulous when compared to what I was planning to do in the UK. It was much uh, much more cost effective, and it, after all, it's home for me. So I thought I'll come back to India. I'll join Networkers Home and. Uh, and I came here, and I'm pretty impressed, and I'm still happy, and I'm I'm looking forward for the course as to offer. Very good. So, what about the trainers here? I'm sure you're having a fabulous time with your um, colleagues here, and also the trainers. Something that you'd like to talk about, your trainers. Trainers, uh, I, I, uh, the, you know, I've been, I've been actually blessed with getting the best. Actually, uh, started with NA. Uh, there was a trainer called Prem Deep who had actually put me, uh, gave me the passion to actually understand what networking is all about. And uh, since I'm a geek, you know, I, I like actually doing stuff, giving me exercises, stuff. He brought the best out of me. That's when I realized, okay, it's time to move on. So I had to like move out from CCNA, NP, and then we joined the voice class. And uh, uh, right now my trainer, Sunny Sharma, she, he is, he is, he's an offbeat trainer, to be honest. He, uh, he, is, he can relate to me much better than anyone else, actually, because the thing is, uh, you know, I understand and I, I'm a, t I mean, you know, I like, uh, life, I enjoy life, and everything comes together. Uh, and uh, I think this trainer has got a very big say in doing that. So you know, I'm always free. I can talk to him. You know, uh, you know, it's more like a friend. So I mean, it's it's it's, a, it's been really good. It's a now tell me something. After a hard day here at the classes and all, uh, I'm sure a lot of you like to beat the stress with the Xbox Kinect game. Something that you would like to comment on? Uh, well, um. Yeah, of course. Yeah, video games been a part of my life, but uh, these days it's been mostly phones and things, and you know, the hardly any Xbox comes comes into the picture because you hardly have time, anyways. Uh, but um, yeah, it is it is part of life, and you know, after classes, you know, are my batch, my trainers, everybody has been through that stage where everybody had fun and all that, so they understand that. Uh, so uh, I mean, yeah, Xbox. No, <laughs> not that kind of person. Sorry. <laughs> that kind yet? Yeah, okay. Because I've been catching uh, gra um, uh, rather, you know, your fellow colleagues grabbing a game to beat that stress. So indeed, uh, I found that pretty fascinating. Now, one thing that I really want to know about is um, the management. How much has uh, the management been motivating the students? Something that uh, you would like to comment on? The management has been amazing. I mean, uh, to be honest with you, from the starting point, we meet. Uh, I mean, I met Jacinta, who is who is the person who takes us in. And she's been she has been uh, motivating us from day one, and uh, I've never been in touch with uh, you know personally in touch with uh, the boss, which is Vikas Sami. I've never been in touch, but lately uh, he had actually hold, you know, held a, a, like a small conference, as in like, and where, what, how, the, how he motivated is he always told me that this is more like a family. That he treats the whole institution as a family, so we are family members to him. So it's like 
uh, I know how to put it. I can always go and tell him, you know, this is not working. You know, you need to fix this. You need the, you know, and he's always ready to actually put up a meeting and find out what, what, you know, he's a he's the kind of person who actually knows the pulse of the students. You know, he is always in touch, even though he's not physically there in the class. He, he, he kind of understands. So, yeah, management has been amazing, and I really wouldn't regret. If I want something, I would I definitely. There, there's no nothing like the management somewhere, you know, somewhere away, and you know, you don't get to see them. But you can always walk to him and tell him, yeah, you know, uh, you know, there's a few things you have issues, you know, that yeah, and he always addresses it. Would you call? Uh, would you uh, term you know being part of this experience as something life changing? Something that you think uh, some major change will be taking place, you know, after being part of this fraternity. I'm very much sure. I'm really looking forward for it because the thing is, uh, y you know, all, all the batchmates and all my colleagues, everybody, everybody is so focused here. It's it's not like uh, you know you have an institution and it's just a class and then you know the people just leave. Everybody stays together and then you know make each other understand. Like uh, you know a lot of my colleagues who whoever understands things, they all sit together. We discuss about things and uh, you know. So it's definitely going to be changing for me. It's going to be life changing. I'm I'm sure the technology is new. And networkers at home has got the things to actually change my life. So definitely that. Very well. Thank you so much. That was uh, Joe for all of you who believes that he has been blessed with the best right here at Networkers Home. Thank you.